Hey everybody, Manny Talibert here, and I want to welcome you all to day 85 of the Seven Figure Climb. And in this particular video, I'm going to talk about some some best practices if you're starting from scratch, if you're just getting into uh, mar um, selling or online selling, or, or essentially even if you're doing it offline, if you're trying to build something and you're starting from scratch, I'm going to give you some ideas that will really help you. These would be best practices, and so. So the first thing I would tell you if you're starting from scratch and you're wanting to build something is look for a really hot market where there are a lot of people having success. Uh, do not go and try and reinvent the wheel somewhere. Don't try and sell to a market where a lot of people aren't making money. I mean, my deal is I would like what I would do, like if I had all of the bandwidth and, and was just starting from scratch, I would study two comma club winners, people who've made a million dollars with click funnels. I would look at every single one of them and I would see where mo most of the money is being made. And then I would try and sell into that niche or market in some way and then bring my own spin to it. But I would not try to create a brand new thing that no one has ever been successful with. Uh, so that's so that that's the first thing. The second thing is I would study those people. And so success leaves clues. Follow the people who are doing what you want to do. So if you want to, like, if you want what someone else has, the best thing that you can do is model them and do what they've done. And what I would do is I would find the five or six or eight or 10 biggest people in that space that you want to actually do really well in. And I would binge watch their YouTube. I would invest in their products. I would... I would look for everything I can to find out about them and what they've done and and always be looking for the backstory. Uh, the backstory usually leaves clues because they will tell about the successes as well as the, fa the failures as well as the successes. And I think that can help you a lot. And so and so those those would be the first things. So find someone who's proven, find a market that's proven. Don't try to create a new market. Find a market that's proven where a lot of people are already making money and sell into that market. Find people who have been really, really successful in that market and model those people and and um, and study those people and just follow them. And that's I think that will get you like that will get you a lot further along than than a lot of the other stuff. And then the other thing is. Um, don't. You 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 still got to study the marketing. And so even, no matter what you're doing, no matter what industry you go into, you would still need to study Dan Kennedy, Frank Kern, Jay Abraham, Chet Holmes, pretty much everyone in the marketplace that teaches direct response marketing. You still need all of that stuff. Direct response marketing, copywriting, messaging, you, you can't get around those things. As a matter of fact, those things are the things that create the wealth and the money, not necessarily the market that you go into. And so um, money doesn't come from selling anything. Money comes from successfully marketing something that ultimately sells. And so uh, if, you know, you can, you can be broke in one industry and really, really, really wealthy in another industry. You can uh, end up really, really wealthy and doing well in another industry. Uh, you can take an industry that some people aren't doing well in, but you've got all of these people who are doing well in. You can find your own space there, but you just got to know that the success or failure is going to ultimately depend on the marketing and the strategy. And without that, you can have the best, like you can have the best product or service in the world and you won't make money from it. And so, like I said, the, the main thing is Follow proven winners and then know that the money comes from the marketing of the thing, not the thing. But we're going to end out. I hope you got some value from this. Do me a huge favor. If you haven't checked out the Manny Talavera Inner Circle 2.0, check it out. There's a lot of content there. It's very, very inexpensive. If you're wanting to get a lot more value from me and a lot more inside baseball, you can get a lot of content there. And it's like I said, it's affordable on any budget, but you can find the link below. We appreciate you all being here and thanks a lot.